What is up everybody? We're going to be tying up a midge. This is the ice cream cone variation. It's one of my go-tos in the spring as a dropper off a balanced leech. It uh, really works well for trout. So we're going to tie it up in a few different sizes. This is a 16. I have a stealth hook, a, size, a series a C. This is a 2.4 millimeter white gritty tungsten bead. I'm going to put my hook in the vise as so, work it over the bend, uh, or sorry, the barb of the hook, and then I will then remove the hook and place it in the vise accordingly and uh, properly at a downward angle. It makes it a little bit easier to tie this personally because we're going to be going well into the bend. Make sure that hook is secure. We're going to go ahead and start our thread. I'm doing red thread and we'll go ahead and do about five to six wraps down and then I will advance back up. This is going to help build the taper and also I want to make sure that my thread is right there behind the bead because we are going to use the large hole of the bead to uh, set our wire in there and this is a 0.2 millimeter in a silver I also tie these with white wire but I prefer the silver personally and so what I'm going to do is make sure that's nice and straight and I'm going to set it on the top of the shank have it go slightly into that uh, uh, the rear hole of the tungsten bead and then I'll just do touching wraps down the bend uh, holding the wire on the top of the shank and then as we get closer towards the um, back here I'm going to then advance um, back up towards the bead making sure that I have touching wraps and also being mindful of the taper of this fly. We're going to put a little bit of a resin over this so that will help uh, you know smooth out any defects but here's a little trick I like to do it's a little hot spot here at the back I'm going to start with doing my wire wraps I'm going to do uh, between three and four going backwards into the bin and then I will come up and spiral over, kind of hitting that gap between the wire and the thread. And then I will, of course, then uh, spiral up the shank of the hook uh, as even as possible. If anything, have them be a little tighter towards the bend and then open up as you get towards the uh, bead. So I always like to do two full wraps right here just to help increase the durability in case that tag of the wire comes out. And then I'll just close it off by doing some behind and in front wraps. And I like to use uh, flush cutters versus spiraling it off. You can, of course, uh, helicopter it off. If you do it using flush cutters, make sure you put your thumb in there and get that little tag end uh, flush down into the, the bead. We'll do a three to four turn whip finish and then I will tighten that and cut it off with uh, my scissors here. And then the last step is one of my favorites. I'm going to grab the Solarez Bone Dry. This is the Ultra or Dry Plus. And I'm just going to put a, I don't even know, I wouldn't call it a whole drop, a half a drop. And we're just going to let it just kind of saturate and I'll move it around using the tip here. You can also use a brush that helps really kind of get it in. And we're going to let it soak for just a second. That's what's going to kind of give us that um, ribbing, um, indentation, whatever you want to call it, where it concaves down between the wire to the thread. And that way it is uh, super durable. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cure this for 5 to 10 seconds. And as you can see, that little hot spot there at the back, I think it makes the difference. But, you know, others would argue differently. This is the ice cream cone variation midge, the way I tie it. And it works really well as a dropper. Um, off of a balanced leech in the spring and uh, tie some up and fish them in a few different sizes. Thanks for watching.